It did not. And they're not. I'll wait for this. Um, yeah. So, I'm sure. Hi, Katrina. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hi. My name's Darren. I'm one of the junior GP doctors working in the clinic today. Mm-hmm. Um, just to confirm, could you give me your full name, date of birth, just so we're both on the same page? Yeah, yeah my name is Katrina Song. I was born on the 14th of February, 03. Great. Yeah. So, tell me a bit about what's brought you in today. So I've been taking the pill for about three months now, but I'm just a little bit confused if it's right for me and if I'm taking it correctly. Sure, no worries. Um, we can work on that then. So what made you come in today? Like what, what's made you think that you're not using it properly or it's not the best fit for you? Um, like I normally take my pill like 8 a.m. every day before I have breakfast. Great. I just came back from a trip yesterday and I slept over at a friend's. So I forgot to take my pill this morning and it was already 2 p.m. So I booked this appointment because I don't know what to do. Um, Is there a chance I can know more about it? Sure. So, um, so have you had um, sexual intercourse in the past, or how often do you have sexual intercourse? Um. Well, just yeah, regularly, pretty, pretty regularly. Yeah. Uh, what well, did you have sexual intercourse yeah. in the past, Sorry. like yeah. last night or the day before? Um, so yeah, how do you feel about you know, you telling me um, that you have migraines? No. No. Uh, no? Sure. Um, and just to confirm, you so you said the last time you took the pill was 8 a.m. two days ago, and you missed it yes, yes, or did you take it 8 a.m. yesterday? I forgot to take my pill this morning. Oh, sure. Just this morning. You can sure. ask more about, so your mum has migraines. Um, yeah, yeah, so my, my biggest recommendation would be to take the pill. And if you take it today, even though it's late, as in you didn't take it at 8 a.m., that's completely fine. And you just continue on with your with your uh, well, no, she gets um, with your normal routine as usual. Uh, so just uh, I can just take it now and I, everything will just be normal. Yeah, yeah, because you missed it this morning. Yeah. Um, and you took it yesterday. So yeah, it's completely fine to take it now and then just continue on with where you are and um, with your pack. All right. Okay. That's um, like I'm. Finding it really hard and stressful to like have to take it every morning, sure. and I don't want to like forget it again like today. Mm-hmm. Are there any other options? Yeah, sure. Are there any you've heard of, or any you yeah you've seen your friends use, or ones you're interested in? Um, my friend is on like Implanon, I think that's what it's called, and yeah. she really likes it. So I'm kind of interested in finding out more. Yeah, sure. So looking at your past history and background, I've, I think that most of them are pretty appropriate for you. Um, so since we've started on Implanon, Implanon, we'll start with that. So that's a pretty effective um, mode of treatment. And it's a little rod that sits in your arm here. And uh, the main things people want to know about it is one, it, it will last for about three years um, until you need a new one. And you won't, yeah, you won't have periods while you're on it as well. So the main danger with that one is it can sometimes move around a bit and have infections, but we'll monitor that as well um, if you'd like that one. The main other form that a lot of people use is an implant. Have you heard of that before? No, I mean, don't much. Sure. So there are two types, but an implant is one that sits, um, it's sort of inserted into the vagina in, and sits kind of in the cervix or in the uterus kind of, so high up in the vagina. And there are two types. So one is copper, and that works because it's kind of uh, it's like a pesticide for yeah, sperm. So it literally kills sperm when they when they hit it. That's crazy. Yeah. And then another type. Yeah. But that's why it's, it's very effective as well. And also, there's a different type that releases hormones. Main difference, um, and that hormone sort of uh, stops you from ovulating, which helps with and also it makes your um the lining in your uterus thicker as well mm-hmm. so thicker sperm don't like it as much so they can't survive as well and then stop you from ovulating so that helps with not becoming pregnant because you need the egg to become pregnant oh okay with those two so the copper one can last up to 10 years so implant three is copper one 10 years the hormonal one um sort of five to five yeah five to seven years Mm-hmm. Sure. And they're all, all quite effective. Because With those ones, have you ever had infections, uh, like sexually transmitted infections before? Well, I 
I haven't had like my first like oh like I have had te that test like five months ago and it's both negative like me and my boyfriend. Oh sure, yeah, that's good to hear. Um, so yeah, that's pretty suitable for you as well. And the last one we usually talk about as well is an injection. Okay. Have you heard of that? No, I, uh, not really. Yeah, so that that's an injection. Do you, are you fine with needles yeah. or you prefer not to have it? Um, I'm, I'm open to options right now. Sure. So the injection yeah, um, is done every 12 yeah. weeks. Oh. And, yeah, it's just an injection into your arm. And it's a hormone synthetic. Yeah, okay. it, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's sort of a human-made version of one of your hormones and it controls your cycle. So you're less likely to become pregnant as well. And um, yes, I guess, what, what do you think is the best for me in my situation? Sure. Um, are you looking to become uh, pregnant at any point? Not in the mix, like, like years, I guess. Like, no, not in Yeah. And does time matter a lot to you in terms of how, like, three years, lasting three years versus lasting ten yeah. years? I think the number I heard in my head is at least five years of not having children. Yeah, that's the only one I've ever Sure, but in terms of like how often yeah. you want the, want the, yeah, uh, like also the, want the, the method of contraception to have to renew it. Do you mind at all? Or, uh, <laughs> well, I guess if you like the implant and you've seen your friend use it, and it's a kind of subtle, just in your arm, then we can go for the implant. I see. Sure. Okay. Um, with the implant, it does take a little bit of time to work. Um, actually, I'll talk you through how, you, how, you, how we implant it as well. So I, I can do it, um, or one of my colleagues can do it if they're sort of qualified to. Um, but sort of local anaesthetic, so your arm work isn't, mm -hmm. won't hurt that much. Okay. And then um, small cut, and then the implant will be inserted into there. We'll monitor it, to it for infection. If you feel hot, if you see it, looks yeah. a bit weird um, mm -hmm. or hurts a lot, then mm -hmm. you know come back and see us as well. Okay. And it does take a little bit of time to work. I think it's um, five five days to work, but I'll check um, and let you know. Um, okay. Yeah, here's a pamphlet for that, so you can understand how it works better. And so in that time, we do recommend you either abstain from sex or keep on going with the pill with like another method of contraception. Do you use barrier protection as well? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so you can continue on with that um, for the next week or so. Alright, that sounds like it for coming to the doctor or great school. Do you have any other questions? Any side effects? Oh, no, no. And I don't think I need to see you again unless you have particular concerns about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds very nice. Thanks. Function. Cool. Thank you, well done. Um, so, yeah, it was a good job, like you got, you kind of got everything in the end. I think just with these kind of stations, it's important to still take a bit of history first, so like a bit of like an OED history here would be relevant. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Because like you kind of end up having to keep going back and like, oh yeah, like, well, do you have a history of this, history of that? Like, um, so I think what they wanted, um, maybe they could have worded maybe better in the STEM, but was to like, yeah, like, so, okay, like, you'd be confused with taking the pills. Um, we'll definitely talk about that, but just so I can get a better understanding, can I just ask you a few questions about, like, you know, um, <laughs> ask you a few questions and then yeah, you do the classic. Okay, thing. cool. Um, well done. Someone just opened the door. Because it says not to take social um, past medical. Um, so I didn't ask anything yeah, about Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. It's past medical. Yeah. Could be a type yeah. Right? So, yeah, but like, so just uh, like, you know, what your period's like, the regular. Oh, okay, sure. yeah. Just because, like, if in the history, it was like, oh, yeah, I've got really heavy periods, um, you know, with like passing on to cots and stuff, then you might lean towards something over something else you know um and then yeah like sorry because i don't know the door again john do you the door um yeah like you know asking about stis and like in the history would have um also found out that like you know been using the combined pill but struggles to remember to take the pill that's why they want to change like do you know what i mean so yeah but then in terms of like 
the questions, like the counting, that was fine. Like, you missed one pill, but it's been less than 24 hours, so you just take it straight away and you continue as normal. Um, and then, yeah, like, in terms of... Sorry, do you take the missed pill and then... You take the missed pill as soon as possible, and then you take the next five as normal. So you take two at the same time? No, so, so you missed... Um, so you missed... <laughs> because she just missed this morning. Just so missed one pill. Oh, yeah. so you take that one in the morning yeah. now, and then you yeah. take the other one tomorrow. Yeah. But if she missed it for more than one day, do you take two at the same time? So, um, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so I think if you... Like if more than 24 hours. Yeah, if it's been more than 24 hours, you take the next, like the next pill as soon as you can. And then you just keep taking it, but you for seven days you have barrier to protection, use yeah. barrier. Yeah. But if it's just, just forget that misstep, basically. Yeah, well, you just take you take one as soon as you remember, oh. and then you start taking them as normal. Okay. Um, and then barrier for seven days. You have to use barrier for seven days. Yeah. Yeah. And then in terms of your description of other contraceptives, yeah. that's good. I think you discussed the most. I think it's always good just to like start from the basics. So you can just barrier protection, mini pill, which is another pill, implant. Oh yeah, implant, probably not the best word. Is that how they call it, implant? Or IUD? I think they just call it Yeah. How would you describe it? Yeah, the implant, I just like, it didn't like sound right when you said it. I guess not wrong, but the other thing is like, you kind of explain it weird, but it's not like, it doesn't sit in the vagina, it sits in the uterus. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so just like, you say it's a little, a little like a uh, butterfly shaped device, whatever you want to call it, that sits inside the uterus. Yeah, um, that was actually, you know, quite accurate. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was quite funny, but yeah, it sits in the ears. Um, and then if they want one more, you could, you know, it's inserted through the vagina through the cervix into the ears. It can be done under local or general anesthetics. Um, but yeah, that was all fine. And then in terms of like mechanisms, it was good, like, Talked about um, after the hormone, like it secretes a hormone. It's going to be. Um, it's going to feel like shit, but it's going to be like blah, 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 blah. It was all fine. Uh, in terms of like, you, you're sort of hinting at like, um, quick, like how quick you return to fertility. So like that's an issue with like the injection. Um, but it's not. It's fine for the other ones. Um, in terms of side effects, I think it's important to mention that the third of patients can actually get like irregular bleeding on the, on the rod. Um, is the rod the most protection as well? It is the most effective.